Greetings YouTube. So I've decided I'm going to build myself a new spear and I'm going to be using this knife which is a quote unquote survival knife. Um, I picked it up at Harbor Freight for eight bucks. Um, it has a hollow handle which is going to be to my advantage. Um, it has this kind of weird, I don't have any idea if that would actually be any good at cutting wood because it doesn't have any points. It's got flat spot. I don't know how well that would be useless probably. But it's a lot of steel, it's cheap, it's on a hollow handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carve out this a little bit. I used my uh, antique marking gauge, which honestly needs to be sharpened, um, to leave a line here so I know where I want to go. And there is actually a small point of metal here, it comes down to about here. So I actually want to make sure I have, I sit this on a shoulder. So it's going to actually come, I set the marking gauge to here. So that's is where, that's where it's going to actually fit um, and then after I get it everything the way I want I am going to drill a small hole and then put a uh, screw through it to, to hold it in place so that it won't move um, it should be snug because I hopefully will not take off too much wood and this right here is going to be the butt cap it's gonna go on the opposite side of the shaft and this is gonna serve a couple of purposes one it's uh, gonna protect the end of the wood um, two, it's going to act as a counterweight. This is a 12.8 ounces, or 12.9 ounces, 12.9 12 ounces. Um, and this is 10.8, so it's not quite equal, because I don't I actually want the, I want the, uh, uh, I don't want it perfectly even, um, but I want to have some counterweight on the other end, and I stole that idea from ZNA Productions used to be Z Not Alpha's channel. Um, so this will be a counterweight, and it will also allow, in case you are very dynamic and would like to, you could do a butt strike, and you're really going to cause someone some pain if you hit them with this thing. It's a one and a quarter inch um, piece of tight tubing, and uh, this is just uh, here. It's just it's going to be uh, allow it to fit more firmly. What I'm going to do is I'll wrap the other end of the of the uh, shaft with a little duct tape so that it's, this sits firmly in the center because it's not exactly the same size. And then I will use glue on there. And then I'm going to have a hole here and I'll just use a screw to hold the whole thing in place. So it will not go any place. It will not be removable when I'm done. Um, this, I haven't decided if I'm going to glue it in place. I may just screw it in place. So if I ever want to, I can take that off and use it for something else if, I, if, I, if I'd like. Um, that's that's still up in the air. So the job I need to do now, hopefully it'll hold off on the rain. I'm going to take this because I actually don't have a proper carving knife. So I'm going to use this thing. Go outside and start carving off some of that wood till I get this to fit. Um, I'm not. I would not. I'm not actually going to use this. It's just too big and unwieldy. Um, this is far safer and has a sharper edge. And I get a whole lot more control with it. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. So there we have it. I have it. Um, whittled down to the point where it fits in there snugly and I kind of kind of get just a little bit of the threads in there caught right there which is fine so now I'm going to need to get my vise out and set it up and I need to put a I've already sanded this a flat on this with my belt sander downstairs in the basement and I'm going to put a divot in here so my drill bit has a place to um, bite um, then I'm going to do a hole about the size of um, a standard Dry, uh, wood screw. Um, I'm using uh, square drive uh, screws, and then once I get that drilled, I'll probably chamfer it a little bit so that it's because it's got a um, a fluted uh, shaft. So I'm going to have a place for that to sit. Um, then we could use one that's got a square shoulder. That's not a bad idea. I think I've got one that's got a square shoulder. I'll check and see what I've got. That makes me make it just make it flush, make it sit on top. That might work. Yeah, I'll see what I've got in my toolbox. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next. Uh, and I have something, another project coming up in the near future. And I'll probably drill the hole in that as well because it'll be set up already. <laughs> All right, there we have the duct tape in place. And so I'm going to put this on here now. And I'm going to use a little Gorilla Glue, kind of lubricate it as I go in. And once that is in place, I will put in the screw to hold... Um, hold the uh, butt cap in place and I just realized I put away my drill and I haven't drilled the knife yet. 
that wasn't the smartest thing I've ever done. I will have to take it back out again. <sighs> Bother. All right, that part is done. Now to put the knife in place, actually find a fastener, put the knife in place, and get my drill back out again. Joy. So there we have the knife on the pole in place. I'm now going to drill a small hole just through the handle. I put the wood inside so I have some support when I'm drilling. Um, and then let's put the fastener in and I'm finished. And I'm in the kitchen at the moment because it'll make cleanup easier. I can just sweep up the metal filings. So there we go. That is one completed spear. And you see it's taller than me. I'm 5'8". So that's quite a bit. And the nice thing about this is that with the counterweight, I can get about two thirds of this spear in front of me with one hand. So if you were to use this with a shield, it would allow you to make a forward thrust and then pull back, particularly if you train with it. So you build up a little upper body strength. Um, you'd be able to do that very quickly. So, um, so I think that would be quite effective. And of course, if you want to use it two handed, the butt cap means that you can rest your hand against it and then slide it forward through your other hand or do a two hand grip and then prepare for someone coming at you. Um, and you mean your hand's not going to slip off the back of the spear, uh, which is a very minor reason I put the butt cap there. Mostly it was for counterweight and it was because it means that the, the shaft is not sitting on the round, which is, which is a bad thing. So there we go. I'm quite happy with this. This is a pretty fast project. The slowest part was whittling the, the wood down to get the handle in place. Um, but the rest of it was pretty fast, particularly if I had been smart and not put my drill away. That, that would have that sped the whole process, of, process up. But you know, everybody makes mistakes. So there you go, folks. This is a Harbor Freight survival knife, though I don't think I want my life to survive on it. Um, but then again, whatever knife you have when you need it, that's your survival blade. Um, so there you go. I'm quite happy with this. Now I go outside, take some pictures from my DVR page, and I'll probably tack those on the end. So tell me. Have you ever made yourself a spear?